Hi, welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie Insidious. After the success of his earlier films, James Wan started venturing through the ranks of the horror genre and knew how to effectively make a good, scary movie that would resonate with you long after you watch it. This movie, Insidious, is hands down one of my favorite scary movies of all time, and I'm going to explain to you why it's so great. The movie story follows the Lambert family, who is in the process of moving into their new home. One of their kids, Dalton, falls into a mysterious coma, and his mother begins experiencing paranormal activity, which remain unseen by her increasingly absent husband, Josh. Little do they know that there is much more to Dalton's coma than meets the eye as they explore the paranormal and rediscover the past to get their son back once and for all. When I first saw this in theaters back in the day, I realized there is no other movie quite like this one and I was pleasantly surprised with how great it really was. From the beginning of the movie all the way to the end credits, this film put me in a constant state of having hair-raising chills. Surprisingly enough, this movie still accomplishes that feature to this very day. There's just something about this movie that is so creepy. What makes this movie stand out are the effectively placed scares, the beautiful cinematography, and having one of the most eerie soundtracks. On top of that, this movie has tremendous sound design. Speaking of the effectively placed scares, the way that we have tension built up leading up to the scares is perfection. James Wan certainly has a finesse with that aspect and it's no wonder why the man is considered a master of horror. I know it's subjective from person to person but as far as the suspense and scares go, this movie is bound to put you on edge. As an introductory piece that spawned three sequels with another sequel on the way, I find this movie to be a great foundation to the series. The story may initially lack a bit but as we're getting more prequels and sequels, they're helping piece the puzzle together to make a very interesting series. As one can tell already, I'm a big fan of these movies, and I'm really looking forward to the upcoming sequel. As James Wan's horror movies became better over the course of time, I don't consider this film to be his best work. Just when I thought this movie was great already, he outdid himself with both of the Conjuring movies. Throughout the span of time, James Wan has really displayed on how much he can evolve and become better, whether it be a horror movie or not. When he is in the director's chair, you know good and well you know you're going to get a high quality film. Where I think this movie could improve on, it would have to be the script. I don't know, but some of the film's dialogue felt questionable for my liking. I feel it could have been more finely tuned a tad. Along with that and the somewhat lacking story, this is still a great movie. Overall, Insidious is still both equally frightening and entertaining alike to this very day. I've seen this film an innumerable amount of times and I can never get tired of watching it. This movie had the potential to be better, but somehow I was satisfied, if that makes sense. I give this movie a B+. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Keep up my real reviews.